Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another update for my Panda's eyeshadows for you. And for me, my Panda's eyeshadows is five eyeshadows that four of them randomly rolled in and one of them is a focus palette and from that I'm randomly choosing a shape. Um, yeah, that's it. Project was started by Alexi, as I'm sure most of you guys know. She isn't making videos anymore, but I have her link down below anyway. And yes, let's jump in. Starting off with the palette that has been in here the longest and is also the most exciting one out of the ones this time is my NYX Striker Pose palette. And I was working on the red shade in here. Now I think it's kind of hard to see. Oh, there's a little bit there. I hit pan. So this one I have used another three times before I hit pan. I knew I was like somewhat close, but I wasn't expecting to be there in three uses. So that was a nice surprise. Uh, 21 uses in total. Uh, yeah, not bad. It's kind of, I feel like with this palette, it's about 20 uses for me to hit pan on any of the shades. So it's good to have a bit of an idea, even though right now I've had pan on almost all of them. So that knowledge isn't as useful anymore, maybe, but Anyway, moving on to um, what has been in here. The NYX palette was in here since April. This one has been in here since July. I had used it five times before. This is the shade that I'm working on. It has the tiniest bit of a dip right now. You can I think you can kind of see it from there. Of course, there's a close up as well. I'm happy enough with that. I'm using it most of the time with kind of a slightly wider brush. I've used it in my crease a couple of times. I've also used it on my lid, but I need to clean my brushes and the amount of brushes that I have left to pick this shade up with just wasn't very much. So I have a kind of like fluffy type of brush that I wouldn't per se normally use for this shade and how I'm using it, but it's what I ended up with. So I've used it another five times for a total of 10. Definitely needs a good bit more uses. I have found a few shades in here, but I didn't properly write down how long it took me. So I don't really know. Like, I feel like it's more towards the 30 range uh, for those shades, but we'll see. So 10 uses now. Still need to put some work in on that one. Then I have my Catrice palette right here in Toxic Combination. And in here I'm working on this shade, which is kind of more like a cake eyeliner, I think is what they call it, instead of an eyeshadow. So for now I have been using it as an eyeliner as well, because I have shades in similar-ish color anyway that I'm already using on my eyelids. So it's interfering a little bit with my black shade, but I'm only trying to get five uses a month as a minimum. So it works out okay enough. It's not interfering too much. I've used it another five times this time around, bring me to a total of 10 uses. Also, this one has been in since July and we're just gonna keep working. I have no idea how deep these pens are, so I have no idea whether like with that slight dip that there is right now, I might be close already or not, but we will uh, find out. It's 3.8 grams of product, which basically means that it's less than one gram per pen. They probably aren't crazy deep then, but We'll see. Then last month I rolled in two new shades and one of them was in this Sephora palette and it was the light blue shade. And let's see all the way at the top or in this case bottom right here. I have used it five times as well. Um, mostly been using it kind of in the inner part of my lid and then using the blue shade that I've been trying to focus on for my Panda palette this month on the outer part and it's a pretty cool toned look but then i've just been doing some things on the outside to maybe change things up a little bit uh yeah i've been using it again with kind of a wide brush just because i need to wash my brushes so it's been basically covering the whole pan which means that i'm not really creating a dip in a similar way as i did when i was working on this shade earlier this year so you can definitely see some disturbance but there is no dip or anything forming just because my brush covers the whole pan basically but yeah, that's that one, five uses. And then lastly, last month as well, I rolled in this guy. And then here I was working on shade number 88. I am 99% sure that the order of this palette is not correct anymore, but this is a shade that I was 
working on and still am working on. I'm using this with a crease brush, mostly in my crease. <laughs> so also a fluffy brush that is taking up a fair bit of the pan. I've used it an additional five times as well, bringing me to a total of five because I only rolled it in last time. And you can see it's been used. It is like a slightly more powdery formula, but at the same time it's slightly domed as well. So also for this one, it's probably going to take me a little bit still until I hit pan. But I rolled one out. So before we do like goals for next time, let's roll something new in. And I was kind of thinking about this. Um, the shade that's rolling out is from my NYX palette, which is my focus palette. And well, I have this palette open <laughs> regularly, so I know what's still left in here. And it's like a purple lilac -y shade, a green shade and a black shade. Um, and considering I have this rule where I don't want to roll in anything that's too similar to anything that I'm using, kind of only leaves me with one option. And actually I'm lying. I'm lying. The purple shade already has pan. <laughs> There's another shade that doesn't have pan yet and that actually doesn't per se interfere with anything. We're gonna randomize. I have two shades in here that I could possibly work on. So grab my phone here, opening the pretty random app and putting that on a number from one to two and clear history and we're gonna randomize. Is it gonna be number one or number two? It's number one. So we kind of end up with the shade that I thought I was going to be working on anyway. Uh, so the black shade, I'm not rolling in right now because I'm already working on a black shade. Uh, my Lancome quad that I'm hoping to finish off by the end of this year. Then we have the green shade, which is number one. And this would have been shade number two. I thought the purple didn't have pan yet and that one did. But anyway, rolling in the green shade which reminds me I need to make some swatches. So this is going to be at the top instead of at the bottom, but it's okay enough. It's like an apple-y green shade, pretty light. So I think that's going to be okay. Like I'm hoping to be making some nice like fall type looks within the next uh, month, once this month is over and I, I am done with my exercise of using the blue shade every single time I do my makeup so just switching while I'm talking to you guys so we have that Catrice shade the cake eyeliner then this is the lilac -y shade for my coastal sense palette we have the brown shade the 88 palette it's starting to ring and I have like a window right above me here so don't know if you guys can hear that or not but we've got the brownish shade right here for my 88 palette and then lastly of course the light blue shade from my sephora palette which is gonna go underneath <laughs> making sure i'm putting it in the right place very light uh blue shade as you can see so that is the palette that we're going to be working with. It's definitely a bit more fall toned outside of that blue and green, but I feel like the green can kind of work still. Um, let me make a quick swatch of the shade that's rolling out as well, because that's what I normally do as well. So the red shade that's rolling out would have definitely been a better fall shade, but at the same time, I have a red in my palette palette that I'm working on. So uh, yeah. So for next time, actual goals, I don't know if I can hit pan on anything really because my palettes or my shades that have been in here the longest are my Coastal Sands, like that purplish shade and this Catrice shade right here, but they don't seem to be close to pan yet. I'm not going to focus in on this guy because, um, well, I'm already using my black shade as an eyeliner and trying to get that finished this year so i don't think that's going to be great and this one i don't think the dip is deep enough but these two neither so maybe i will make this my more focusy shape for the next month see if i can get a few more than five fuses on it but i'm expecting not to have any new pants next month but we'll see maybe i'll surprise myself let me know if you guys have any thoughts on how to incorporate these shades with 
my other shades, Panda Palette, um, with each other. And um, yeah, that's it for today. Thank you guys very much for watching and I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Bye bye!